rare adventures of Biggles. In a quiet office at Scotland Yard, there is a conference in progress between Biggles and Assistant Commissioner Raymond. Raymond has sent for his air inspector to brief him on the next task of the air police. But so far, he's done little more than outline recent developments in China. He particularly stresses the recent revolution in which the communists seized complete control of the country and set up a dictatorship. You see, Biggles, you must appreciate the situation if you're to understand the job you're being asked to do. Is it too early yet to ask what the job is, sir? A little. As I tell you about this, I want you to be quite clear that there will be no compulsion. If you think it's likely to be too dangerous or outside your line of territory, say so, and I'll tell the government to forget it. Well, I can't say that till I know what it's all about, can I? All right, all in good time, Biggles. Now, let's go back to the general picture for a moment. No, I think I'm clear on it. The nationalist government has been tossed out of the Chinese mainland and the commos are completely in control. This is the result of the recent civil war, or revolution, if you'd rather have it that way. Well, you can call it a revolution. The old government was thrown out and the brand new order came into being. And the changeover was pretty frightening. There was terror and bloodshed throughout China. You were telling me something about the missionaries. Yes, that's what will concern you. Communism is against any form of religion, so naturally the Chinese communists weren't friendly to the Christian missionaries. At the time of the revolution, they lived in a state of fear and uncertainty. From one minute to the next, they didn't know when the soldiers were going to come bursting into their missions. And when this did happen, the defenceless missionaries relied entirely on loyal Chinese to assist them. I hope we didn't hurt you too much carrying you through the house, Ming. But you will be safer here in the chapel. I am less concerned with the pain than with your safety. If the soldiers find that you are harboring me... Now we will hide you in the vestry. Henrik, surely they won't come into the chapel. I am hoping they won't, Anne, but this is a lawless time. We can be sure of nothing. Oh, it's Chai. Who knows what the soldiers are doing? Master! Master, they are in the house! Where? I lied to them, Master. I told them you were upstairs. They go up, but soon they will come down again. They come here, Master. Yeah, well, it will be some moments before but they, they do. But they will. Please, my friend. Forget this foolish notion of hiding in the chapel. They will have no respect for it. You must escape while there is time. But what about you, Ming? You have done enough for me. Leave me here. Perhaps the soldiers will not harm me if they know I am a priest of Buddha. We are certainly not leaving you. We can escape from the rear of the chapel without being seen, but where can we go? Will you trust yourselves to me? Of course. And support me between you. Close to here is the house of a friend. We will be safer there. But your friend will be putting him in danger. He is dead. The soldiers killed him yesterday. The house has been burned, but we can hide in the ruins. The soldiers will be unlikely to come back to it. Hurry, master! Hurry, master! They come! Help me to my feet. And please do not worry about the pay. It is nothing if we can find safety. Are you comfortable there, Ming? Yes, thank you. It was the walking I found difficult. Now that I am lying down, I, I am almost comfortable. And you, Chai, are you sure you want to stay with us? You have friends in the town with whom you could hide. I stay with you, Master. Maybe Chai help you a little bit. Uh, you've already helped us a great deal. Sending the soldiers on a false trail may have saved our lives. Did they tell you what they'd come for, Chai? They say all missionaries to be taken to prison. All missionaries? Henrik, that means the others are in danger. Father Dubron, Miss Summers. Well, they may be taken already. No. Soldiers say they take you first, then get other missionary. Well, then we can warn them. Better than that, we can bring them here. Yes. Yes, I'm sure this is a safe place. It's ruined. The soldiers aren't likely to come back. Oh, Henrik, that's a wonderful idea. But, but how are we to bring them here? Huh? Yes. Well, of course we can go for them, but, but well, Europeans will be recognized in the street. There is another way. Chai. You want Chai to tell other missionary? It's a lot to ask of you, but you can slip through the streets without being noticed. 
You can tell the other missionaries where we are and leave them to come here independently. Well, they'll be recognized too. Well, some may be fortunate. That decision must rest with them. I know the danger you will be in, Chai. I shall quite understand if you refuse to do this. Henrik, we must do it. They are our friends. No! No, Chai do this. Chai not let you be killed. You wait here till other missionary come. How fortunate we are, Anne. If it were not for our Chinese friends... Shh! Ming is asleep. Speak softly, Henrik. We mustn't disturb him. Henrik, do you think we could risk making a light? No, it would be madness. Any light, even a match burning, would attract the soldiers here at once. Of course. Oh, it's just the darkness makes it more terrifying. Oh, the night's going to be dreadful. And well, at least the town is quieter than it was. It is most pleasant not to hear the constant shooting. I should be ashamed of myself. There's so much to be thankful for, and, and yet every now and again I, I feel a complete coward. Well, you are a very brave woman, Anne, but this is an awful situation for you. It is nothing that you go through periods of fear. I, too, feel like that. One moment I am brave, I know exactly what to do, and then I feel terrified and hopeless. And it will be like that until we are safe again. Safe? I wonder... Don't if... wonder, Anne. We must have faith. Uh, oh, it's Ming. He's waking. You're the poor fellow. I had hoped you would sleep until morning. Uh, uh, we are here beside you, Ming. All is well. These soldiers? They have not found us yet. How do you feel, Ming? Thank you. I am refreshed for the sleep. But your injuries? They will heal. What, what was that? The noise. It is our friends. Several of them have arrived. We told them to stay in the rear portion of the house. They will be safer there. And we didn't want you disturbed. You needed the rest. The friends, you say? Who are they? Who are the missionaries from the town? Chai learned that the soldiers were going to arrest them, so he warned them. Those who could came here. Although whether they'll be safe here, I don't know. Temporarily, they will be. By morning, we will know all who are coming, and then we must decide what to do. By morning, it, it may be too late. You think the soldiers will find us here? Perhaps two or three of us could have hidden for some days, but a large number, no. But we couldn't leave those poor people, Ming. We had to do what we could for them. All we have to offer is the protection of this ruin. You will not be safe here, or anywhere in the town. Ming, we will be safe anywhere, and will we be safe anywhere in China? That is what I am thinking. There is a place. Where? It is the shrine from which I have come. But uh, a Buddhist shrine, will we be welcome there? All are welcome, my friend. The abbot has no liking for these godless men who are controlling the country. He will be glad to give you sanctuary. Where is the shrine, Ming? You may have heard of the caves of a thousand Buddhas. The shrine is in that region. But that is in the Gobi Desert. What safer place for fugitives to hide? But 500, perhaps a thousand miles, how could we travel so far? There are ways. I know the country well. I have friends and influence. If you will trust me, I shall do my best to lead you and the other white folk to safety in my land. Of course, Biggles, it's impossible to know exactly what happened. You can imagine the narrow escapes, the privations, and the courage that were shown. But we do know that a number of Christian missionaries escaped from the communists and made their way to this sanctuary in the Gobi Desert. The Caves of a Thousand Buddhas. Mm, that's an interesting name. I doubt if the district's interesting. The Gobi Desert's one of the most dreadful places in the world. Yet the missionaries found safety there, did they? Some of them. With the help of the abbot and other friendly Chinese, they set up quite a little colony in this place. Are they still there? Some are. The original party sent word through China, and quite a number of other missionaries found their way there. But conditions were awful, and there wasn't much food, so many of them died. 
The information we received was that 11 survivors are still there, or rather, they were there several months ago. Uh, how do you know all this, sir? One of the Buddhist priests made his way out of the country on foot. He reached Hong Kong and told the authorities about it. They sent the information to London and, uh, <coughs> well, uh, here you are. I think I get the idea. But if this Chinese walked from the Gobi Desert to Hong Kong, his information will be, well, a bit out of date, won't it? Yes, it's months old, possibly a year, but it's all we have to go on. So the situation is that there might be some missionaries at this Buddhist shrine, or there might not. I, uh, I can't tell you, Biggles, they were there, but anything might have happened in the meantime. Anything. I think we have enough wood, Anne. Let us go back to the oasis. No, we need more for the fires. Old Father Gibran won't bring in many. Oh, it is too hot for you out here in the desert. Come, Anne. We have done enough. I suppose so. But there's so little for us to do. Anne, lie down. Behind this dune. The Kyrgyz are coming. The brigands. Hide yourself at once. We must not be seen. Henrik, they're going to the oasis. Yes, it is not only the Kyrgyz that worry me. But behind them. Is that not another party of horsemen? Well, those are soldiers. The communists. I thought so. They are chasing the brigands. Do you see what is happening? The Kyrgyz are trying to reach the oasis. They intend to fight there. At the oasis? But Henrik, our friends, what will happen to them? In the wilderness of the Gobi Desert, the missionaries have faced dreadful trials. Have they survived the terrors? How is Biggles expected to help them? Don't miss this exciting story as it unfolds in the next chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles.